Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about doing breadth first search and depth first search in C and C++. And I'm going to use a Linux VM as an example. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have defined a node, which is essentially a class. And since it's going to be a binary tree, I have a node, left pointer, right pointer. And the data is going to be just a string and I'm using the std class from C++. I have provided two uh, essentially uh, constructors to get a node and I can show you those. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, one is that we just give it a data. That means the left and the right are going to be null pointers. And in the other case, I provide all three, the data and the left and the right. So just to get started, uh, what I have done is I have uh, created a sample tree and the sample tree was basically created by getting some strings and then uh, following this if you look at this one it basically says we get a new node a and then it's going to have uh, as a child b and the tree is essentially just this a we have a tree a child of b and d e, and b has this so this is basically uh, you can just use this uh, to create any type of a particular tree you want and this function is just returning the root uh, once I have the root uh, I'm just going to do first breadth first traversal first and then I'm going to do the depth first traversal so let's just take a quick look at the breadth first traversal um, basically to do a breadth first traversal what you need to do is uh, have a queue and as soon as you come in, you can push uh, STD queue. We can uh, push the node onto the queue. And while the queue is not empty, you pop the first node. This is just for popping the first node. And I write the node data. And after that, it's pretty straightforward. If there is, if node.left has uh, not null, you push this onto the queue, the left node. And if node.right is, you push this onto the right node and then we just basically go through the while loop so if i want to take a quick look as to how and what it would print i have put in a breakpoint here so we can run this code so let's just run this code so if you run this code it's going to print uh, this uh, value and you can see how uh, this would come about basically uh, what we are doing is this is a breadth first traversal so we end up printing a then it's going to be b then e c d f g and h and the reason this is coming up because we are pushing things on the queue so it's pretty straightforward so let me just take a look at the other traversal which is even uh, more simpler than this one so if we can uh, go back to the c plus plus view here and i'm going to take a look at the Death first traversal and the death first traversal is basically pretty straightforward uh, what we're going to do is if node is a null pointer we basically say we have nothing to do otherwise we just output the node data and then we do a death first recursive of the left and then after the recursive of the right so if we just continue on and let's see what it is going to print So it is done and it's printed this thing. So if you look at the comparison of how it is doing it, it's basically going towards the left first. So it's printing A, then going to the left B, then C, then it goes to the uh, right D, then it's going to go all the way back up E, then F, and then it's going to go on this side G and H. So this is a fairly common way and this called actually has another name called in order traversal. And there are some variants you can do of this. So thank you for watching this short screencast uh, and if you want to learn more you can basically go to my website or associates and search for these and other uh, videos. And you have a great day. Thank you.